Hello everyone and welcome to a new update on Need for Speed Payback and we got a new vehicle, well actually we got three new cars added into the game, two of them are brand new, brand new, but one of them is from Need for Speed 2015 and previously, you guys will see, anyway. We got some new things, Titanium Trials, they're pretty much time trials, uh, and what happens, Castro gives you the three new time trials in Fortune Valley, okay, that's okay, cool, some time trials, we can try to do that. Open bait crate sha er, why did I- I was about to say chassis, but that just, that's not the word. Chases. Bait crate cop- bait crates, cop chases have been opened up and no longer require you to take a specific route, forge your own path, and embrace the thrill of the chase. That is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can just go- it's, I, I don't know if there's a time limit though, now. It'd be cool if there isn't, because then you just go into like unlimitedly long cop chases. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we got super build cars, we got two new super build cars, we got the Pontiac Firebird and the Aston Martin DB5, and y you know what, I'm taking the Firebolt, the, the, the Firebird, the fi Fire Build, Jesus, I'm having a stroke today. I'm taking the Pontiac in the first video, and we'll have a look at that, and uh, then we'll have a look at the Aston Martin in tomorrow's video. Also, let me know what sort of class you guys want me to build the Aston Martin in. Uh, for this, uh, I think I'm just gonna go with, I don't know, probably an off-road build. I mean, it looks like it, it should be kind of cool as an off-road car, um, if I turn it into a super build. I will go ahead and rebuild the Trans Am as well as a different build, but I think for right now, I'm gonna go as an off-road build, just because I want to see all the parts that you can put on it, because that looks so cool in that little thumbnail to the left. And also, the Aston Martin looks really, really good too. Um, so we'll have a look at that tomorrow. So let me know what sort of class you, you guys want me to build the Aston Martin, or... What sort of class you guys want me to build the Firebird in a future video, because I'll try to rebuild it into something else. Because, I mean, they're super builds. They'll, they'll end up looking different either way when I rebuild them again. So it'll be kind of cool to see what sort of design, or what sort of things the cars are going to have if I build them as uh, as a different class. Because obviously they're not going to look the exact same uh, as, as they do for the other super builds, just like the other cars. Anyway, next thing, all drive activities. Uh, activities have been moved into all drive hangouts. Take a minute. We have jumps, drift zones, speed roads, speed traps. Activity, all, all activities are in, are in all drive. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that. That that's that seems uh, seems like it should should have been a thing for a long time now, but that's kind of cool. We have some activities in all drive this time, uh, so that's great. Anyway, let's get started with the video, the proper video, of the build of the Firebird. So here it is, the Trans Am. It looks weird, raised. It's slow. Uh, I just realized I don't have the money to max this thing out, so I can't really put the parts on it, but with the snap of my fingers, I can just do it anyway. Because of the power of editing, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go back and I'll try to buy the catcher packs. And I'll do this whole, this whole thing. It's slow, it's just, it's, it's just slow right now, there's, there's no reason for me to, to say how good or bad this car is, because it's just slow to drive, so. Once I get this thing up to speed, then... I can actually critique this thing and actually say if it's good or bad. So I'll be back in a second after I pretty much max this thing out, hopefully. Uh, I'll be able to do that very, very soon. Okay, now as I jumped into my garage, there's also this. Eddie's back and gone again. Remember when Eddie back... Wait, remember when you beat Eddie back in the day? Looks like he left this car for you in your garage. And if you guys know who Eddie is, if I go ahead and I go to my warehouse, and I think it's a race spec, uh... Here it is. This is Eddie's R34 GTR. Now this thing is pretty cool. Now the really cool thing about Eddie's Skyline is that it goes up to level 399. The normal R34 GTR that's in this game doesn't do that. It only goes up to 299. So this gets maxed out fully. And this will be a very interesting car to, to test out in like a video or, or something like that. So I may buy this in the, well I already have it, but I may use this car in a future video if you guys want to see that then make sure you let me know by, I don't know, like telling me, or liking the video. I, I don't know, to be honest, but I'll, I'll make a video anyway on this car, so you guys will be able to see what it's like. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some get myself some money so I can max this thing out. All right, and I told you, with just an instant click of my fingers, I managed to get this car to level 399. Now look at this thing. 1,274 horsepower to 0 to 60 in 1.67 seconds. This is outrageous. This thing is ridiculously fast. 
I mean, I'm, just, I'm not just saying that just because of the stats, but, like, I drove this thing a little bit after I ended up putting all this, uh, all these, like, speed cards on it. And, oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting build. Either way, let's have a look at what we can do to this visually first before we do anything else to actually drive this thing. And before I even put on... Let's have a look. We can pretty much block out the headlights. We can pretty much block out the haters. Um, I guess we're the whole... The whole, e like eagle design or whatever it is on on the hood the the firebird why did i call it an eagle i'm an idiot but uh either way i mean there's parts for this for days if i really really want to take my time and look at every there's so many things for this game or for this car so many parts i'm gonna have to go wide arch we're definitely gonna put wide arch well we're not gonna do anything to it because the whole super build thing is gonna change everything for this car so again, since this is an off-road build, we'll see what they decide to actually put on this thing. But it looks pretty damn customizable, if you ask me. There's just so many different things we can actually add on this thing. It's pretty mad. So we're gonna have a look and see what it's like after we add all of the uh, all of the uh, super build parts on it. So let's have a look and see what that is. So we have our actual roof parts and stuff like that. That's a roof. Wait, what can we change the roof here? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Wow, there's actually a lot of roof options for this thing. That's actually a lot of roof options for this thing. I really want to take the top off. I don't know if I'll be able to do that after I put the super build on it, but let's have a look. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This looks sick. That looks so good. It's just such an interesting thing, because you wouldn't really expect this thing to be an off-road, like, look how good that looks. That looks mad. I like that a lot. Let's put that on. If I go to the roof, will I be able... Yes! We can still add loads of different parts for this thing. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. This is what I'm going to put on for this. Um, for our, our hood stays the same as well, even though it adds, like, the, the, the blower. That's perfect. That's so good. It adds the blower, but it's still... Ah, it's... That's... I'm so happy with that. For the grill, I'm definitely down to cage the headlights. Make it look even more off-roady, I guess. Um, what else? There's nothing really else that we can actually change this thing that I would like it to... To be like... Like, to be honest, like, we could go slightly wider arches. If I'm down for that, I could probably be down for that, to be honest. I don't really mind, to be completely honest. Just putting some... Oh, that looks... That looks sick. It just completely changes the car altogether. Let's sure. Let's go with some full-on wide arches for this thing. Let's have a look. Which ones are the ones that match the front end? It's not these ones, the seamless ones. I'm guessing these ones. Yep, these are the ones. That looks so sick. That looks so good. Well, the exhausts are on the side now, so let's have a look at that. You got a little extra little extra step there as well. And then we have our exhaust at the bottom. So um, I'm not really a big fan of that one, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this pipe here. It goes all the way around the side. Diffuser, no items available, obviously, because it changes the whole rear bumper of this thing. So that's kind of cool. Yep, definitely going to keep this one from the super build. <clears throat> Anything else that we need to change this thing? I don't really, I don't, I don't think so, to be honest. I think we're pretty much done with uh, with everything on this car. Front bumper, definitely don't want to change it back to, to the way it was. I'm perfectly happy with the super build one. The wheels, again, I did say that I kind of want to bring them back to stock, but I mean, like, what's the point? They don't really look as good as, obviously, the crazy off-road wheels that we have on this thing. Now, the tires, uh, see, I don't know if I want to change them to anything else. I, I kind of like these these wheels. They, uh, they look decent, and they're nice and wide as well. So, this is pretty much it. Let's have a look and see if anybody has made any sort of designs for this thing so far. Uh, I'll go ahead and delete a couple of wraps here, or just, like, that one wrap. Let's see what people have made. There's no design. There's one. There's literally just this one design for this thing. Okay, you know what? We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it the way it is. We're going to have the, the actual Firebird on the hood as well, and we're going to keep it the way it is. That looks so sick. That looks really, really good. I'm not going to lie. What an interesting build, turning this into an off-road. And I want to show you guys how this thing drives. It's it's so good. I really hope it handles just as well as like how fast it actually is, because that'll be absolutely amazing if this car can handle really well. I want to see if I can beat my time on this uh, little off-road event that I always sort of test my cars out on. And I want to see if uh, if this handles as well as 
as I think it might. It's so fast! Oh my god. It sounds great too. 200 miles per hour with ease, with no NOS at all. Ooh, little action cameras. I think I may need to turn these off. I think I may need to turn these off because usually they all the stuff like resets. Again, let's have a look. Driving. Um, reverse space time. Game. Is it in game? I don't even know. Kyra cameras off. Um, no, I'm guessing they just added a little, uh, a little feature. I guess uh, to show you pretty much how far you go. Anyway, let's have a look and do this event here. Let's see if this thing drives as well as uh, as I hope it does. Anyway, I'm not going to do anything to the live tuning or anything like that. So I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm not even going to accept that because I know I'm not going to do it. And it's just going to take money off me. Damn. This looks this looks mad. I think we're going to need to snap a quick thumbnail of this thing. I mean, the Beetle is right now the fastest car I have. For this event, I think, if I remember correctly. Or is it the Beetle or the Mustang? I don't know which one it was. You know what? Little thumbnail. Okay, we're in a bush, so let's, let's try to get out of. Eee, Jesus. Let's try to snap a quick thumbnail here. That looks good. In the sunlight, Firebird. Looking nice and uh, off roady, I guess. Alright, quick thumbnail for that. Perfect. Thumbnail gang. Hashtag all that thing, whatever. Uh, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> let's go, boys. It turns really slowly. Don't like that. So I think the only way to get this thing to turn fast is if I just sort of break the drift. It doesn't seem to like to turn very swiftly if I just drive it normally. So I guess break the drift is the only way I can get this thing to go. Go sideways and, uh, and go fast. It's so fast, so like at some points it's like actually hard to control. I definitely need to redo this again because I kind of messed up on this race. But I'm just gonna do it now just to see what sort of a time we can actually squeeze out with this thing. And then I'll attempt it one more time. And try not to mess up at all. Doing 140 miles an hour for this bit is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. I think I need like better NOS though. I think I need like more more NOS for this thing. I think that'll make this thing a lot faster. I want to just squeeze out a 120, well, 128 after messing up as well. Jesus. I think my fastest is like 125 or something like that. So I definitely want to try this again to see what it's like. Okay. I'm, do I'm doing this again. We're, we're going to retry it. Cool. Yeah. Give me more parts. I definitely need those. Uh, let's trade that in. All right. Let's do this one more time. Alright, the Phoenix in action. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, move. Please. Alright, again, with Break the Drift. And if you get this thing to swing out, it drives really well, but I don't think it'll do great if I just try to drive it normally. Like, if I just try to go around the corner normally, I don't think it'll be fast enough. Like, it just doesn't turn in fast enough to be able to do that. But, if I tap the brakes a little bit, then it's perfect. What gear did I end up putting me in? I put me in like, fifth or something. <laughs> This instantly feels like much faster than the last lap, or than the last like attempt. This is dumb. A thousand two hundred horsepower with this thing. We're gonna squeeze out 125, I think. Yeah, 125. I don't think that's a personal best. I don't think so. It's not a personal best. So we do have, we do have faster cars. But this is good. This is really, really good. 
I'm pretty impressed. I am pretty impressed with this thing. So, that was pretty much it. We got the new Pontiac Firebird in our garage, and it's as an off-road build. That's pretty impressive. I definitely want to try this out as a different type of build, so if you guys want to see this as a, um, I don't know, race spec or, or anything like that, because as you can see, it is pretty damn fast. I think we need some speed parts, though, because this car only maxes out at like two, 220 right now. Um, so I think we could use with some more some more speed parts for, for, for our speed cards. Um, so, yeah, I guess that'll... Uh, That'll have to come into play, I guess. Uh, I mean, to be completely honest, um, track races, I can get cars to go up to like 230 miles per hour, I think. Uh, some of the cars. So I don't know if this will be good or bad for, for doing that. Uh, as a race spec for some of the events, obviously we can hit like 260 with the uh, with the Konigsegg, so I don't think that'll be... See how bad it is at just turning normally? I, was, I just tried to do it there for you guys, just so you can see. It, it's terrible. At just turning normally around the corner, but look at this understeer city. I missed like the whole checkpoint. It just understeers so hard. But uh, I think the only way to, to go around corners with this thing is, is if I break the drift. That is just drives perfectly fine. It, you can just skate around the corner and it's it's perfect. But if I just try to drive around the corner normally, it just understeers so badly. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Also, subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more content like this on my channel. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.